2014, you had a dream, right? Yes. And it started some years ago. How did it start? What was the germ of the idea in your mind? Uh, well, as kids, we used to um, put black plastic down a hill, um, yes. some water and soap and slide down it. The, the idea stemmed from there. Um, uh, as I got older, um, I uh, relived the memories that I had. How? Um, uh, by thinking back. You thought back? my past. How old are you now, sir? I'm 30 years old. Right, so when you were 25, did you have an afternoon where you found yourself a mound and a, a few bin bags and a bar of soap and some fairy liquid and dove headfirst down a hill? I actually did, yes. <laughs> <laughs> What, how, was that your eureka moment? <laughs> it was, yeah. There was um, many people sliding down the slide. Everyone was enjoying it. It was a very fun day. What did you make the slide out of? Um, black plastic. <laughs> um, <laughs> so it uh, ended up to work so well that I decided um, that I would design and get an inflatable water slide made up. Understood. And the idea would be that once you designed it, you'd be able to take it round to all sorts of public displays and festivals, correct? Correct. And you'd be able to hire it to the people who are running those festivals at a rate, yes? Yes. He presented the idea to you over the phone. Yeah. What exactly did he say? I knew before I went to Australia that he was thinking about setting up the business. Um, and while I was over there, obviously developed. And I received a phone call explaining how it was all going. I was very proud of him, uh, and then he asked for some financial help. Merlin, you must have told your brother at that point about what you believed you'd be able to make. What did you tell Noah would be the profit of the business in year one? I said uh, there would be around £5,000 to £10,000 profit. What did you project for year two? Year two, I projected £20,000. Now, here's the thing, because there's two parts to this. It's 2014 up to May 2014. There are two sums that you claim that you lend Merlin. One of those sums you give Merlin directly. The second thing that you paid for was a marquee, and that was £1,311.84, correct? That's correct, yeah. Now, you paid that marquee company directly. When you bought the marquee, did he say anything about giving you the money back for the marquee? Any money I lent him, the, our verbal contract was he would pay me back. And that relates to the previous sum. So there's the money for the, uh, the marquee, 1,311. Yeah. Prior to that, you'd also given him another sum. How much, sir? Um, there was uh, a, a bank transfer of £300 for equipment, uh, and then there was about £700 Again, for pump equipment and uh, slide protection underlay. Slide protection? Uh, an underlay that they had to put under the slide to stop stones and stuff. Uh, I, I understand. You presumably didn't know and didn't care. No. As long as he was using protection. Yeah. <laughs> right. It was, consequently, by the time it got to 14th of May, roughly, according to your brother, he had advanced loans to you or purchased things for your business to the tune, roughly, of £2,311.84, yes. correct? Yeah. First time you lent him the money, back in 2014, what, Merlin, did Noah say to you about giving it back, verbally? Uh, he just told me that I can pay it back when my business starts to make money. Is that what you said? Uh, yeah. Very interesting. In other words, I will lend you this money and as soon as the business does well and people are sliding down my slide, I will give you the money back. Yeah, correct? correct? Right. And what were the payments going to be? Uh, at first, we agreed on about just £25 a week. Um, well, here's a problem, sir. What if the business failed? It wasn't a question of when the business is doing well. No. To your mind, it was when the business made a regular profit, yeah. he would pay the loan back to you out of that regular profit. So I need to determine whether he made regular profit, correct? Correct. Looking at that, give me an idea then how much you would charge, how much you'd pay your staff and what profit you would make. Um, you normally charge around £1,500 a day. Staff um, are £100 per day. Right, so um, you've got five of them, that takes it down to 1000 Yes. And you've got power, anything else? Uh, yes, there's um, power um, for the air pumps as What well. profit do you make? Um, you, uh, it's hard to say, depending on how That's much... It's right, it's not hard to say. Show me your account from 2014, we'll have a quick look. 
How many bookings did you make in 2014? What's your profit? Um, it was roughly 20 bookings. Roughly 20 bookings in 2014? Oh, sorry, sorry. Roughly 10 bookings. Roughly 10? Yeah, in two. Would you like to go higher or lower? <laughs> <laughs> How many? Uh -huh. Let's see your very well collated business record. Uh -huh. Show me the profit you made. I don't know if I actually All right, have I'll just have a rest and imagine that I'm on Bondi. <laughs> <laughs> I'll join you. <laughs> Where is it? Um, I don't. How much profit did my... you make in 2014? Um, it was. Just pause for a second. Let's all be quiet. I want you to get your thinking head on. Well, I actually don't know exact figures um, because I reinvested money back into the business. Um, I did projections, but off the top of my head, I cannot tell you exactly what I made in year one. Merlin, you did projections, but you can't tell me off the top of your head. Would a magic wand help? <laughs> <laughs> Give me an idea. Any profit, some profit, any loss? I definitely made profit in year one. How splendid. How much, roughly? Um, say £5,000. Did you know that? I knew it made profit. Did you know it was £5,000? Not as much as that, no.